In the last video on my YouTube channel, you guys saw me try and build a mini electrolysis reactor to generate hydrogen gas and fuel my lightsaber with it. However, after a couple of dumb mistakes, I ended up destroying the entire thing. Now luckily, I had quite a lot of scrap material remaining from building the first, so I'm going to try building a second one and fix the mistakes of the last. The building process was basically the same. I cut some discs out of the steel sheet and drilled some holes for the water and gas to flow, cut out some gaskets from the rubber to space apart the steel, and cut out a base plate from acrylic and steel to hold together the entire cell. Then, as if I'm making a sandwich, very carefully assemble the steel sheets and the rubber discs, making sure that they don't touch. Once the sandwich was assembled, I pressed together the back plate and bolted it in very tightly. If there's a hydrogen leak and a flame around, it could result in the reactor exploding. I screwed in a little fitting to refill the reactor with water and for the gas to flow. And just like that, the reactor is ready. This time, instead of using strontium chloride as the electrolyte, I added some salt to water and filled it into the reactor. I hooked the reactor up to a car battery charger and blasted it with 50 amps, and right away you could see tons of little bubbles forming. This shows that the reactor works and is successfully producing oxyhydrogen fuel. I made a little bubbler to filter out the produced fuel and collect it in a pressurized form so I could use it in a more controlled manner. I wanted to see if the produced fuel would actually burn, so I added a little flashback arrestor and a nozzle to the fuel line and gave it a light. Surely enough, the fuel did actually burn and produced a neat little torch. Hydrogen is the cleanest fuel in the entire world. When it burns, it rebinds with the oxygen forming water vapor, which is the only byproduct. For my last test, I wanted to see if hydrogen could explode, so I gathered some in a bottle for about 10 seconds. Even with only a couple seconds of fuel, the hydrogen did generate a pretty neat explosion. I didn't realize how hot the reactor was getting during testing. When I tried touching the steel backplate, it almost burned my finger so I'll have to add some kind of cooling mechanism in the future. This reactor does still need a lot of improvements, but hopefully soon I'll be able to run my lightsaber off of hydrogen.